It's Easter time, guys, so this is the most beautiful time to get friends and family around the table. So me and Tesco have got two, yes, two amazing recipes that we think you're gonna love this Easter. First up, we are gonna do the most beautiful five ingredient roast leg of lamb. So good, so juicy, so tasty. Then we've got the most beautiful Easter bread and butter pudding. Using up all of the leftover hot cross buns, it's gonna be epic. I've really simplified these recipes down so you can have more time with your friends and family and more flavor. I've got here a beautiful bag of Maris Piper potatoes. So I've taken two kilos of potatoes, peeled them, put them in water with a nice big pinch of salt, and I'll boil those for about 12 to 14 minutes. So while that comes to the boil, let me show you a really easy but delicious marinade. Just take the rosemary, put your fingers along the stalk, and just pull it off so you get just the leaves, a little pinch of salt and black pepper and then you pound it up. If you haven't got a pestle and mortar, just finely chop it. Uh, I'm gonna put six cloves of garlic into the pestle and mortar. Then let's get some lemon zest in there. Often, lemon zest ends up in the bin. Bash it all up, nice and rustic, that's what you want. And then just use a little oil. Look at that amazing color. Get a knife, and I'm gonna go into the lamb quite deep, right, a little hole, kind of evenly put around. Sometimes people are very scared about doing things like this, but you've got to earn flavor. I'm just gonna pour in this incredible marinade. Rub this around the lamb on both sides, but then take up these little bits, find the hole and push it in. You can use this marinade for chicken, steaks, chunks of salmon or fish, like big old slices of like aubergine or squash. Get it right in there. So you can do this the day before and it will actually flavor this and marinate this even better for flavor and tenderness. And then on the big day, you just take it out of the fridge, leave it for an hour before you roast it, and you're good to go. Maximum flavor, minimum effort. So the potatoes, they've had about 13 or so minutes. In a colander we go. This steaming part is utterly essential. Can you see how the outside of the potato has gone a little bit frosty? And that's the starch. That means and promises and guarantees crispiness crunch, right? If you do this, you chuff up that outside even more. So all I'm gonna use now is olive oil. We're gonna season the potatoes so they're just lightly coated in an oil. Now this will guarantee you the most amazing roast potatoes. If you wanna take it up a notch, potatoes go in the oven. I'm gonna roast this lamb direct onto the bar. So this is gonna roast 360 degrees. It's gonna be gorgeous, golden, and it's gonna rain down all that incredible fat and flavor onto the potatoes, it's gonna be epic. So that goes in the oven for one hour, 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Like now you've got an hour and 15 minutes to do whatever you want. Prep other things, hang out with your family if they're starting to arrive. Once that's done, I'll show you how to rest the lamb, but I also wanna show you how to make the most amazing fresh mint sauce. It's the best condiment ever. Ho ho ho, come on. With the lamb, which is beautiful, and you can see how it's roasted. 360, after about half an hour's resting, will give you beautiful, succulent, tender, lush meat. On the spuds, if you just pick one up and kind of tear it open, you can see how fluffy it is on the inside. Beautiful. You can take these out if they're done. If not, carry on cooking them a little bit, and you can flash them in the oven a little bit later. But while that rests, I want to show you how to make fresh mint sauce. So get a large bunch of mint. You want the leaves. Finely chop that mint. The smell is amazing. Add some seasoning. Take a little teaspoon of sugar. Some vinegar, I'll use red wine vinegar. You can use any vinegar, cider vinegar. And then, boiling water. Now the heat is gonna create an infusion, just like a cup of tea. So we're really pulling the flavor out of the mint. If you've got leftover, you can keep it in the fridge for a week, no trouble at all. All I do now is have a little try. Oh, hallelujah, that is a brilliant sauce. So let that sauce cool down and let the lamb rest. And then of course, at this point in time, you could bring together all the veggies you want and make it your very own roast lamb dinner. Brilliant. When it comes to carving, ideally you have a carving knife and you want it to be sharp. You can slice at an angle or you can slice down to the bone. There's no real right or wrong way to do it. Take a little bit of time and pleasure. The smells coming off it is incredible. 
you can see how juicy it is. It's outrageously juicy, right? It's gonna be tender, tender, tender. You can see how there's more well done bits and more blushing bits. So look, we've got the mint sauce there. I've just flashed the potatoes to get them sizzling. Stack this up. Look at that. Any resting juices, we'll just put over the top. But look at this, guys. I've got to try some, so come on. Mm-hmm. Off the chart. Second up, hot cross buns. There's going to be loads around this time of year. And if you've got any left over, it doesn't matter how stale they are, they are going to be amazing in this incredible hot cross bun bread and butter pudding. It's the most epic dessert. First up, I'm going to use three beautiful British eggs. Into there, we're going to go with 150 millilitres of milk, 150 ml of double cream to give it a nice richness. And then I'm going to give it that beautiful flavour with vanilla extract, two teaspoons. So just a couple of tablespoons of gorgeous golden caster sugar and give it a nice little whisk. And that is that bit done. Take about 60 grams of butter. Take a little bit of that butter and rub it around the bottom and the edges of a 24 centimeter nonstick pan. But of course you can use a dish, a little apple pie tin. It doesn't really matter as long as it can go in the oven. So once you've rubbed that all around the pan, put in a tablespoon or two of sugar again, and then we'll move this around and can you see how that sticks to the butter? That will give you the most gorgeous, caramelly, golden outside crisp. So next bit is very, very simple. We're going to take the hot cross buns. And if you have leftovers and they're stale, beautiful. If they're fresh, beautiful. Slice each hot cross bun into three. And if you break it, doesn't matter. Bottom bits I put in to this beautiful custard. This will suck up the custard. And then I can very simply just lay this like a layer into this dish. Now, what's brilliant about this recipe is you can do this the day before. You can double the recipe, you can triple the recipe. So it's perfect for when you have guests around and you don't want to be like stressing in the kitchen, but you know you want delicious food. At this stage, we can put a little Easter hunt in the middle. Just break up some chocolate and sprinkle it into here. You can have a few little eggs as well. The chocolate will become a little pool of oozy chocolate. The eggs will kind of break down differently. Also, what works really well a few little teaspoons of your favorite jam. And then all we do is take the tops of our hot cross buns, lay them on top. There is no way you can get this wrong. And if you think that you will, you won't. So all of that lovely custard goes in. A Little bit of chocolate and jam on the top. And then that last little kind of amount of butter under the hot cross buns, in the little gaps, in between the layers. And as it cooks, it will just melt and make it rich, golden and gorgeous. So look, it's that easy. So in an oven at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit, for 25 minutes, and put that in the oven when you're sitting down to eat your lamb. It means more time with your friends and family and your people that you love, but we've got guaranteed flavor in there, no stress. First of all, the room smells amazing. This has had 25 minutes, and look at that. The jam is just blipping away. The eggs have cracked. Oh, oh. This is going to be a real centerpiece. Look at that. That's what we like. Let's serve up a portion. This is actually a generous six portions, but you could stretch it further if you want. Let's get in there. Look at that. Crispy on the outside, oozy and soft on the inside. I've got a little bit of double cream here. Just a little kiss. So enough talking. Let's have a little try. Mmm. That is Easter in a dessert. The spices, the little hit of tang from the jam, the melting chocolate, so good. Mm. So look, if you want this recipe, or the lamb recipe, or loads more inspiration, simply go to tescorealfood.com and enjoy.